and I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. Wake up, gentlemen! More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, They don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers! Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. 
The toll applies to everyone, Honrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loge and put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your dartspawn fighting, king-killing ways. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. And just when we had things settled... Surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. What are you joking, right? I could never be a soldier. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. It's packed full. The band took his men north with Tern Logain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Logain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as Regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Couple, maybe. A group of wounded Ash Warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. Well then, let me go! I'm not going down without a fight! Got it. Now is better than later. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Yes, I know. I was just... thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. 
This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? The treaties, the ones we got from Flemeth. With these, we will be able to ask for assistance, maybe even raise an army. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Danarum, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Your king is dead. There is no hope. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it was... The legions of evil! And on your doorstep, they will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him?
Zoxfon will feast on our flesh! Everyone will die! Zoxfon will feast on your living heart! You again! Can you all not smell the evil? This one is tainted! No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn! No! Do not touch me! You bring evil and destruction! It is the end! He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Your king is dead! There is no hope! Alright. There's word of darkspawn stragglers. Are you here to see the Reverend Mother too? Head of this chantry. She's very busy, but I think she's free now. I came to ask for a blessing. With my family abandoning the farm to flee north, we'll need all the grace the Maker can offer. Well, good luck to you. I need to get underway. If I'm lucky, I'll make it back to the farm hold by nightfall. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. So, who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? W w what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. Why is that, if I may ask? Whatever the reason, the Arl won't be seeing anyone until he's recovered. I don't like the sound of that. We should see Arl Eamon for ourselves and find out what's happening. You can travel to Redcliffe if you like. Perhaps he has recovered. Or perhaps his son might assist you. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesser exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. 
but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tails. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness, the word dispelled. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. A great number of people could be fed and clothed for a fraction of your finery. But you must do as your heart wills. What can I do for you then? A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else... May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Likeness of Andraste. I'm sorry. Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she was ugly. There is very little time. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in heaven. And then shall the chant of light make it pure. All mankind be humble. 